A few years ago, I did a series where I shared my entire acne story, from how it affected me emotionally to how I was finally able to heal it. But what I really haven't talked a lot about is my acne scars, and this has been a long and interesting journey. I've dealt with hyperpigmentation as well as pitted or indented acne scarring. So in this video, I'll be going into detail and sharing everything I've done to heal them. Plus, I'll also be sharing my current acne scars routine. Let's start with hyperpigmentation. In 2013, after my acne was pretty much healed, my number one goal was to heal all of the redness, all of the hyperpigmentation that was left behind. I was in college at the time, so I didn't have a whole lot of extra money to spend. So I turned to natural home remedies to help heal my scars. I would make all kinds of homemade face masks with ingredients like yogurt, oatmeal or honey, which are known to brighten the skin and help fade redness. So I would apply face masks like these multiple times a week. This is actually around the time when I started this YouTube channel and I just began sharing all kinds of recipes like these. So I'll be sure to link some of my favorites in the description box below if you're interested. And for a while, that's really all I was doing to heal my scars. I'd say they went from being like a bright red color to more of a light pink, just by using natural home remedies. Around 2014, I came across Banish, which is one of my favorite natural skincare brands and the sponsor of today's video. So I was actually the one that reached out to them back in 2014 and I asked them if I could try their derma roller, which was their original microneedling tool. Microneedling is basically a process that involves puncturing the skin with tiny needles. You're essentially causing trauma or damage to the skin, but this is actually what sends a signal to the brain that the skin needs to be repaired. So the skin produces more collagen and this is what ultimately helps heal the scar. So I started using their derma roller along with the pumpkin enzyme mask, which if you watch my videos regularly, you know that this is the mask I still use to this day. It's my absolute favorite way to exfoliate and exfoliating plays a very important role when it comes to healing scars. So this combination of the derma roller with the pumpkin enzyme mask made a dramatic difference in my skin. Since then, Banish has discontinued this specific derma roller that I used back then, but they did come out with an even better tool, the Banisher 2.0, which is what I use now, and I'll be getting into that in just a little bit. So I saw a huge improvement in my scars. The redness was basically gone. Now all I was really left with was the indented acne scars. And these are a little bit more challenging to heal than the hyperpigmentation because it's not something surface level. A lot of collagen was lost in these areas, so it's going to take more time and effort to rebuild it. And if I'm being honest, for the next few years, I was either not doing anything to intentionally heal them or I wasn't being consistent. Every now and then I would use the derma roller for maybe two or three weeks consistently, but then I'd forget about it and I wouldn't do anything for months. And I think this was mainly because I had reached a point where I felt comfortable in my own skin. My attitude was, it'd be nice to heal them, but I love and accept myself no matter what. And I have to say, I'm very happy that I reached this point before I really committed to healing them because now it's coming from a place of self-love and not a fear of not being good enough. So in 2020, before the pandemic started, I got my very first professional microneedling treatment and the indented scars improved so much. I was so excited to keep going, but unfortunately because of the pandemic, I wasn't able to continue until earlier this year. I had a few more sessions done and my scars have definitely improved. By the way, if you'd like to hear more about my experience with these treatments, let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to share my experience in a separate video. The thing about these professional treatments though is that you obviously need more than one and the price starts adding up. So even though I did see huge progress, I did take a break from them because they can get very pricey. So I decided to look for more affordable options to continue healing my scars. 
Since the first week of August of this year, I've been using the Banisher 2.0 every single week. This is Banish's patented at-home microneedling tool, and I did use this back in 2019 for a little bit, but again, I just wasn't as committed to healing my scars as I am now. So ever since August 2nd, I've been using this tool every single Tuesday. That's the day I picked to hold myself accountable and so I can actually stay consistent. And I have to say it's worked. Every Tuesday night, I show up for my at-home microneedling session. After I cleanse my skin, I take my tool and sanitize it with alcohol. The cool thing is you can use the same cap to do this. So I just fill it with alcohol and let it sanitize for about five minutes. Then I will let it air dry for a little bit before I start pressing this into my skin. And you can think of this tool sort of like a stamp. So the needles are gonna go straight into your skin instead of coming in at an angle like a derma roller does, where you actually run the risk of tearing your skin. So I personally feel much more comfortable using a tool like this, where the needles are going straight in and coming right back out in the same way. It's recommended to press this into the same area about four to five times and then rotate the tool about 90 degrees in between each press. And I would say this is relatively painless. The needles aren't very long, so it just feels like a little prick. You will have a little bit of redness, but this usually goes away within a couple of hours. At least that's been my experience. And please make sure you're only using this on healed skin. You do not want to be pressing this into active acne. So after I've gone over all of my scars, I put this right back into alcohol to disinfect. So this way I'm able to use it again the following week. Now that you've created all of these micro channels in your skin, what you apply right after is going to be very, very important because it's really going to penetrate into the skin. I apply the Banish Serum. The serum is made with the most potent form of vitamin C and the skin uses vitamin C to create collagen. And when it comes to healing these deep pitted scars, you want to do everything you can to encourage your skin to produce more collagen. So this serum paired with the Banisher is a powerful combination. So many people have seen amazing results using these products. You can buy the Banisher and the serum individually, but it's also sold as a kit. So I will have links to everything in the description box below. And you can use code Vanessa E at checkout to save. I really love how my skin looks the morning after doing this routine. It just looks so plump and healthy, and I'm very happy with my progress so far. Depending on the lighting and the angle, my scars will look more or less prominent, but in general, my scars are smoother, especially on my left side. My right side has deeper scars, so obviously they're gonna take more time to heal. Because I'm filming today, I am wearing a little bit of BB cream, but I rarely wear any kind of foundation these days, which is something huge for me. If you watched my acne story, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So when I look back at my journey, I just feel really proud of how far I've come. But I'm very excited to keep using this and see what my skin looks like months from now. So I am documenting my progress and I will be updating you guys on this in the future. If you have acne scars, whether that's red marks or indented scars like I do, please know that you are beautiful no matter what. Your worth is not defined by how flawless your skin is. Your worth is much deeper than that. If there is one thing my acne and acne scars journey has taught me, it's to love and accept myself every step of the way. Once I started doing that, my journey became much easier. If you missed my acne story series, I will have that playlist linked right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.